Look at my little plants. Nobody better not FaceTime me neither. Cause I'm also looking just like these. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. So today's video is a maintenance routine. We have a wax appointment, our maintenance to get done. I'm showing you all how I manage my natural hair underneath wigs. And we'll be testing out a new acrylic nails kit to see if it's worth the money. So let's get started while I have your attention for the next 23 minutes. Like I'm fishing, pull up in that coop, and you know that I'm that her heart go down her back. Girl, you need a plaque. Cause you the baddest I done seen in a while and that's a fact. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny, so trip it, destiny. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. So I am currently on my way to my second wax appointment. Look at me. I'm like four minutes late, so I absolutely hate that. I was gonna try my GPS and take that little route that it wants me to take, but I took the way that I wanted to go. I can't remember what the policy is, but I hope that that's okay. Immediately afterwards, because I remember last time my appointment was about 15 minutes, and I was like, y'all remember if y'all saw the vlog, I was like, wait, that's it? Like, it's over? After that, y'all know BMW kind of scheduled us for today, even though they was kind of booked and busy. They're fitting us in today for the oil change at BMW, so I gotta go like straight there. I need to work out today to make the thumbnail. So while I'm sitting getting the oil change done, I'm gonna make the thumbnail once I get there and get settled in to make this video public. I forgot to put the ads on it. I got my laptop with me, so if I can connect to some Wi-Fi somewhere. I can go in and like put the ads in and the end screen and do well I could do the description box on my phone and the app I just threw on like a little black little two-piece set when I get a chance that we will show you all my outfit at some point in the vlog and we fresh face with it with the brows <laughs> brows only and I'll talk to you all after my appointment baby's bottom wax appointment is over it was not too bad it was decent so we're gonna go now to bmw i'm gonna put my phone in the charger since i don't know how long i want to sit i gotta show you all y'all the exfoliating pads because y'all was like you didn't even show us show last them. time and i forgot to show them the exfoliating pads that they rick well that they sell are their actual own brand i don't know if you all can get them online I'm trying to wait on all these cars to finish passing by. As I might have the B-roll going right now. Everybody want to drive by where I park? This is why I don't park up front. This is exactly why. Um, the girl that I had got the first time, she wasn't, she doesn't work here anymore. Yeah, but the hair grew back thinner. Is that TMI? No. Okay. The hair was. <laughs> things are just never TMI to me. I feel like my analytics show me that a bunch of girls watch. So how is it TMI if we all do the same things or have the same things going on? It was just easier and quicker and so many like good benefits to getting it done. So my level of like self-care things and beauty things that I'm trying to get into just, you know, allowing myself to treat myself to services a little bit more. And they're black owned. Somebody had put that in the comment section when I went there like, is it black owned? Yes, it is definitely black owned. All right, I'll let you know what they say. Woohoo. If it's gonna take a while, I'm actually gonna get picked up. That'll give me the chance to do some other things. It's literally down the street, like we're about to be here. Y'all know what I wish? The place where I used to get pedicures is like back there, but I don't go anymore. Once I experience a few, this was a good appointment, this wasn't, this was a good appointment. Girl, they didn't even give me no cuticle oil this time. Girl, they didn't even this and that that time. And pedicures cost a pretty penny because I pick like the deluxe packages. So it's like, sometimes I could want to say like, I want a pedicure, I'm about to treat myself, I don't feel like doing it myself. But then I'm gonna be mad when I spend that money and it's not the service that I really wanted. I had put up a Facebook post asking like people in my city where they go. I may go check out that other place, like a bunch of girls typed, um, I gotta find it, I can't remember the name of it. But I may check that one out because I still do want a place for when I don't feel like doing it, when I do want to treat myself. Like knowing how to do my own pedicures doesn't mean that I'm always gonna do them. It just means that I at least have the ability to do so if I want to do so. When I dip, you dip, we dip. I put my hands up on my hip. Seventy-nine percent. Just in case I don't get picked up, I got some juice. 
Hey, how are you doing today? Hi, good, how are you? Great. Do you have an appointment with us? Uh, yes, for an oil change. What's the last thing? Okay, thank you. He's checking like a little board. Don't know if I'ma see you again. But is that a good thing? Cause girl, I can't be your man. No man. I know what's on your brain. You probably hope it never would end. Like, is it the real thing? Or is it just the one? Alright, so we did your oil change. Uh, okay. We did a couple additives for you to break through the flush. Grand total is four thirty nine and seventy seven cents. Okay. That's yours. And your car is right out front, along the tree line over here to your left. And we just ran out of staples, so we get the paper clip. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, ma'am. I'll get the door here for you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Right here, right here. 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 Right I go like every 30 minutes. I was in the process of posting this TikTok. Okay, so let's see what we got done. A da 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 ba ba. Service oil and filter change. Roche, I will be using a soft cloth. Okay, car wash service. They installed, girl, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. The brake fluid flush. Y'all won't bore y'all with none of that. Never mind. I could not know much, so the professional mechanics and all of it, if any of y'all watch, I'm honored because, you know, the guy analytics been going up lately. But yeah, I ain't no professional, so don't take my advice on it. I think I got there at like 11.45. It's 2.07 now. Man, why they park me like this, though? I can get out. Yeah, get into it. Well, those were the main two things on the list today. Why would I switch out? It's time to get into some natural hair care. I need to prep my hair for a wig, so I'm going to show you all my wash day routine of what that would consist of for me. So, removing my hair out of that bun. Y'all, I just be slicking my hair up, barely brushing it through all the way. <laughs> if y'all ever see me in a bun, you know why. We approaching wash day. So I picked up this new hair stopper from Walmart. If you all saw the Instagram and TikTok of my little Walmart shop with me, y'all wanted to hear my review and opinions on the new Neutrogena shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna use the Healthy Scalp Soothe and Calm shampoo. Now this one has tea tree oil, so it's giving spa-like vibes. So fresh, it's so clean, clean. I like this one because it's gentle, but it's effective. And it's basically like non-medicated. It's helping to like calm the hair, soothe the scalp. I don't know what I was thinking. I put shampoo in my hands before I had even like with my hair so that's why I was kind of doing both but now we're shampooing our hair and I like to kind of massage in my scalp just kind of doing a little gentle scratching to lift up the buildup from all of the products they were put in my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse I do shampoo my hair for a while but for your view and pleasure this video is nicely edited So I do have scalp psoriasis, so I always follow up with my dermatologist's prescribed shampoo, and it's the Keto Conazole Shampoo. I only have to apply it to the affected area, which is basically the front part of my scalp, and I let that sit for five minutes, and then I rinse it out. Okay, let's put some conditioner in my hair. Oh my God, it's dripping everywhere. I should've got a towel. I'm gonna have to change out of this. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to put in the hair mayo. This is just a deep conditioner. Helps treat and repair dry damaged hair. I don't be feeling like you gotta have dry damaged hair to use products that, whenever it says that, it's just a little protein based, I feel like. I'm gonna get a lot, a whole lot. I don't wanna waste it, because I be wasting stuff. Ugh, I'm ready to soak these nails off. The middle finger on my right hand is just pinching from the back. Like, I'm trying to not use it at this point. I just don't want them to all break while I'm trying to braid my hair down, which is why I haven't soaked them off yet. washed my hair in the shower but I had already took my shower sometimes I'm not in the mood to have hair products all over my skin I would just rather do it in the sink it's easier to film too like propping the camera up near the showers Ugh. 
it's a hot mess. If y'all ever seen me wash my hair in the shower, give it a thumbs up. When I'm lazy, I slap this in and then I detangle after it's already set for a while. So from the bottom, this is a tangle teaser. I saw Naturally Sunny. She had a collab with them and I was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> so I ordered it. I should have combed my hair out before going to the sink so that I could comb it forward. I like to guide my hair in the direction that it's about to be washed. And I kind of just put my head in the sink and then detangle first, but it's all good. Just be gentle. You can finger comb, but most of my nails are snagged, so I can't. I tried these new hair oils. They had my hair so itchy, I was so ready to wash them out. And I think I washed my hair last Friday, yeah. Or like if I was consistent, I would be a once a week girl. But a lot of times it depends on the style. Like I know once I do these braids, I might be in two or three week wigs in one week. <laughs> We're gonna see. And it's fall now, so it's cool again. I don't know if my natural hair like it, like my relaxed hair did. We'll see when I rinse it out. This used to be my go-to product immediately after doing my relaxer. I used to put this in my hair. Let me do So the instructions do say that you can sit underneath a hoodie dryer to apply heat for like 10 to 15 minutes but since I work from home and I'm already in the house editing and collecting content for you all this was an opportunity to just sit outside it was warm out there anyway so the sunlight is going to do its thing for both me and my hair. <laughs> My hair feels so good. Oh my god. And it's warm. From being outside. Look, look at that. What? So I think it's safe to say that my hair still loves this hair mayo. Like I said, I used to use this as a follow-up on all of my relaxer hair days. So I'm happy to know that I can continue to use it. And now I'm going to go ahead and rinse that out with warm water. Since this one is kind of like protein based, the thumbs up is because yeah, my hair felt real soft, real moisturized and really good. Um, but since this one is kind of like a protein based type of treatment, I definitely want to still just follow up with a conditioner to get the hair even more soft. Like I always follow up with a regular conditioner. Well, do what the instructions say <laughs> so as for me i'm going to take the neutrogena healthy scalp soothing calm matching conditioner apply this to the hair generously and then let it sit for three to five minutes i went ahead and rinsed that out i like for my hair to be super moisturized underneath my wigs so i basically take the gold series buttercream which is a moisturizer and i like to apply this all over the hair the directions say use a dime size amount but we gonna work it in, baby. I'm also applying softy hair grease to the scalp because, you know, I'm revisiting the classics. <laughs> this girl got sung, I said, you thought I was feeling you? Oh, I like that song. Cause I don't feel like braiding it damp like this. I don't feel like blow drying it. A lot of y'all been complimenting my hair because it's been growing, but less is more. A lot of times I don't feel like doing my hair. So I just like wash it, moisturize it really good, tuck it away. I don't tuck it away for protecting it. I took it away because I just don't feel like doing nothing else. So my mama go braid tomorrow. I'm gonna let y'all see. <laughs> gonna sit in here and finish watching if y'all want a netflix recommendation i'm currently watching narco saints i'm on episode two i'm gonna show y'all how i do my hair and watch tv let me show y'all i feel like if hair care had a love language it'll be time because like it's dark outside now it's very much give a clingy girlfriend where you going stay here with me you got plans don't say that <laughs> So I went ahead and put my hair into these moisturized four sections. I applied my bonnet and I went to sleep. The next morning, my hair was dry. Well, not dry. It wasn't damp anymore, <laughs> but it's still moisturized. And I'm going to go ahead and unplait that. If you neatly plait it, you can definitely wear a braid out. I do about six braids. 
If you are someone who wants to begin learning the braid process, I suggest practicing to braid your hair underneath a wig. That's exactly how I learned when I started doing wig reviews. I was like, I ain't about to pay nobody for a braid down. Pay you for a braid down. Eh? You'll be able to kind of like hide it. Ain't nobody gonna know <laughs> if your braids need or not. Cause you put the wig on top, okay? Make sure it's moisturized and you'll be good to go. And I like to connect my braids that helps it to kind of be out of my way. And then I only have like one on the side. I like to apply this ointment as well. It says to use it as needed and I wait until I need it. <laughs> Whenever you see the discoloration in the front, that's when you know like, oh, it's time for Destiny to get her scalp injections again. So yeah, my appointment is coming up. Obviously the discoloration is going to come back in between my appointments because there's not a cure for scalp psoriasis. For years, I tried so many different things. So shout out to my dermatologist for getting me all the way together. This works for me now, so I'm not switching it up. That is how I prep my hair to go underneath my wigs. I'm taking care of my real hair while slaying a wig, okay? Get into it. And now it's time for acrylic nails at home. So these are my natural nails with my previous set all soaked out. I ordered a new cuticle pusher from Amazon and pushing back your cuticles is important to prevent lifting of your nails, whether you're doing gel or acrylic. So I'm going to gently push back my cuticles. Some of these clips are in fast motion. I'm ready to do what I do. So I picked up a new nail kit and we're going to give it a try. Not new, but new to me. So this is the Beauty Secrets Odorless Acrylic Nail System. I misplaced my receipt, but according to the website, it retails for $38. I let it go for about $40. $40? But let's see what we got. You get the pink acrylic powder. Let me know if y'all's came covered because mine's didn't. And you're also going to get the bright white acrylic powder as well. Acid free primer the nail liquid, a dampen dish, the prep before, which is basically a dehydrator. You get 30 nail forms, the white and the natural tips, a small nail file, a small acrylic brush. Girl, okay, innocent until proven guilty. I ain't gonna judge you yet, we gonna see. The nail glue for the tips. And the instruction sheet, which is very thorough. We have details about prepping the nails, sculpting the nail, using the tips, three ball methods, a fill in, pink and white instructions. I would've preferred if the kit came with the tips like what I'm showing you all on the left, but I'll keep it G. I'm gonna use the ones that came in the kit. I'm gonna gently remove the shine by lightly fouling from the cuticle to the free edge on the natural nail. And this part wasn't on the instructions, but I'm going to wipe away the fouling dust using alcohol. Take the Beauty Secrets nail glue, and I'm going to apply a small drop of that to the indented part of the nail tip. Got the tip onto the natural nail slowly, and then hold it firm for about three to five seconds. I'm going to trim the tips down to the desired length and shape that I prefer. And I'm gonna kinda go with like an almond type of look. I'm just going to use these small scissors to give me a head start with the desired shape that I want. It doesn't have to be perfect. I want to use a separate file that I got from Amazon because that itty bitty one, mm -mm. we appreciate your beauty secrets, but I need a little bit more. And then I'm going to proceed to kind of just blend the tip into the natural nail bed. As I'm filing to blend the nail tip, I'm not resting the file on my natural nail bed, only on the portion of the tip. I really didn't do it that much, honestly. I'm not new to doing my nails, but let's just see what the instructions say just because. So I'm gonna fill the dampened dish with the liquid. You can add your powder to a separate dish, but I don't plan on sharing my kit with nobody, so we're gonna dip straight from here. So place the tip of the brush into the powder, and you can form a small ball by moving it in a circular motion. Take the first ball and apply that where the nail tip and my natural nail meet, and then I'm going to blend that out. For the second ball, it's gonna be a little bit smaller than the first one, and I'm going to place that one on the natural nail behind the first application and then blend that out. And then the third one, I'm going to take that and apply that on the rest of the uncovered nail tip making sure that I don't have any of it on the cuticle. Oh, and I forgot to show you all, before you start, you wanna apply the B4 to the natural nail, and then once that dries, apply the nail primer. You only have to put it on the natural nail, not the tip. Yes, I want to kinda of discuss the consistency of the products in this kit. So as far as the powder to liquid ratio, I feel like it's very beginner friendly when I'm working with my nails. It doesn't set too fast, which gives beginners a chance to work with the product. Beginners usually purchase kits, right? Because it comes with everything that you need. So if you want it to be less runny, then obviously you would 
wipe off lots and lots of the liquid off of the brush before you dip into the powder. I love this kit. I love the size of the products. And it does say that it's odorless. Compared to other acrylic products that I've used before, I definitely give them a thumbs up on the odorless part. You can smell a little bit, obviously, because you're doing your nails, but it's not like unbearable at all. So I'm kind of still following the instructions. It's calling for using the nail file included and then following up with the buffer. But I'm just going to use my hand file and then my drill with my McCart bits and then follow up with this buffer that I picked up from Sally Beauty as well. So this is what the nails look like before buffing and buffing helps to smooth out the nails. So after that, I'm going to wipe off the nail dust using some alcohol on the pad again. And I picked up some new gels from Sally Beauty as well. These are by ASP. So the colors that I have is champagne, orange cream soda, and Allen Time. So I'm gonna use all of these. I wanted to kind of do like a fall vibe and I'll be using my Madame Glam base and top coat. So I'm first going to apply the base coat to the nails, cure that underneath the lamp for two minutes, and then wiping it off with the alcohol removes the tacky layer with champagne on the pinky. This is what one coat looks like. It's not opaque yet, but small thin coats to help build up the gel versus like doing it too thick because then it won't cure. So I'm gonna take this small nail brush. I don't know the brand or anything. So I realized that the nail tip was still showing. So I'm gonna take this gel that I use when I do my pink and white pedicures and I'm going to apply a coat of that. Classy girls can leave it just like this. Oh, but see me, I'm gonna turn up. And she's still very much a classy girl. Cured that underneath the lamp for two minutes and I'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer. And I'm going to use this small striper little brush. Wipe that off before you go in with your next color. And I'm just going to kind of dip the brush into that. Using this small brush helps me to keep the shape nice and precise so that I won't really have to clean it up too much. You can go in with two coats of that pink if you want. It didn't really matter to me though. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a second coat and cure that underneath my UV lamp for two minutes. This is what we're giving the girls. After one coat and two right here. Continuing with a few thin coats to build up the color and make it a little more opaque. And then I'm going to apply the Madame Glam Top Gel. Cure that for two minutes. I love the way my nails turned out. I love the fall colors that I chose. I definitely recommend this kit, especially for beginners or even if you're not. The products are amazing. I'm gonna link everything that's linkable down below. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel and watching this video. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye. That's all I get. That's just how I live.